Yeah. Nah, calm down. Calm down, yeah. Calm down. Now, I got a call early this morning, and he said for two days there's been a dog howling in the bush. And that normally means that the dog has been caught in a wire snare. Poachers go through, they set snares. It's a very, very wild piece of country full of bandits, and there's no law enforcement there. But don't worry, Alison's going to turn up. She'll have a weapon too. I just brought my trusty axes. The dog was still howling this morning. The problem is now you actually have to find it. If it's not making a noise, it's very difficult to find. So now we're gonna have to guess and just check these dunes over here. Yeah. Traditional weapon. Bad bandit country, this. Handling things in an African way, yeah. You get a thing of pepper spray. I gave you a weapon and you didn't bother to take it. You... This is my weapon of choice. It comes from my Viking ancestry. We're gonna walk around. Baron, my trusty man, has been a ranger with me from my conservation days. So what you do is you check for the game paths, and then you get into the game paths. Right. I followed a track, a dog trail coming up here. I found a place here where something was caught in the snare recently. The snare's broken off. Come have a look here. It's actually chewed off the branches, and there you can see the wire snare's broken off. Okay, if you watch here, this is what's going to happen. Animal comes through, pushes its head through, and there we go. Brutal but efficient. Yep, dog tracks, yeah, with human. More than likely one of their hunting dogs. But yeah, the dog tracks all along, yeah. We need to find her while she's still barking. It's way too hot out here. Any animal caught in a trap, being throttled by a piece of cable, is going to die a really miserable death today. There's dog caught in a snare. But what's so interesting, it's friends stayed with to help it. Come, yeah. Exactly what I suspected, he's been caught in a snare, probably set by his own master. Nah, calm down. Calm down, yeah. Calm down. Calm down. We've got to get her to drink. She's been out here for days. I'm going to give her some water. Come on. Drink some water. Good girl. Exactly what I suspected, he's been caught in a snare, probably set by his own master. You know, it's so interesting, even though his human didn't bother to look for him, his dog friends stayed around, hung around. For two days they've hung around, not leaving their friend behind. Very interesting, a true case of leave nobody behind. Come on, come on, come on. The snare's obviously pulling tight, so the first thing we're going to do is get a rope around her neck. Blaming, you see, she's getting hurt, so she wants to fight with us. I don't think she'll calm down. She's fearful for her life. She's scared of us, really frightened of us. It's better. 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 I can't leave the snare around the dog's neck. It's literally eaten into her neck. So the snare has to come physically off her neck. Okay, bring her out. Come. Come, come, come. Just calm down. Calm down. Come, you're going to calm down. Okay, it's actually the snare that is literally twisted and pulled tight, so it's suffocating the dog. All right, all right, all right. I need you to calm down for a second. Can you calm down? Calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm. Calm. 
Okay, now she's calmed down. Let's try one more time. Okay, there we go. This stuff is unbreakable. They use this even for bush pigs and bushbuck. Now the, the wire's off. She looks happy. I was wrong. I never thought she'd calm down. It's kind of funny that you're actually rescuing the poacher's dog. I don't believe in leaving animals to suffer. Simple as that. Come on. There's its mate in front of us. Let's go. You see its mate checking us out. See, that's why I like animals more than people. Look at the amazing bond. Stood by his friend for two days. There's not much water here, so he also went without water to stay with his friend. Even though he's scared of us, they can be feral dogs from a pack that got loose. Hunting pack, and then they just turn feral, they look after themselves. I should take her in, but I don't want to. No one's going to want to adopt a poaching dog. She'll be euthanized for sure. Come on, let's go. Get up now. Come on, come, 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 come. Let's go over the dunes. This is why I stick with wild animals. Hey, listen, look under the tree there. Look who's watching us. Maybe it's kind of cruel. There's her buddy there. Maybe I should just let her go and let her join her buddy. Carry on. Make her life the best she can. Well, then what happens if she gets another snare? It's a risk she has to take. Risk you have to take. But I mean, imagine the bond between those two animals and now I'm going to break it by taking her and if they don't find a home, they put her down. That's why I hate saving domestic animals. The story is very rarely good. Do you want to hang out with your buddy? He's waiting for you. Do you want to go? I'm just going to let her go. The dog will probably be euthanized anyway. She can take her chances. Her mate's waiting. Maybe she lives a couple of years. Good for her. It's me. It's me, my girl. Here we go. There we go. There she goes. There she goes. Wait, he's waiting. See him waiting? There's no Walt Disney ending for domestic animals, but this is probably the closest. They go into the sunset together. Two weeks later, we went back and the couple was still around living their lives. If you want to see more animal rescues, please subscribe.